Welcome back, guys. Juco's in. What are you doing back here? We have some unfinished business. Do we? Thought that was over when you walked out on me last time. I said I just needed a little time. So you're saying you're ready to trust me now? Oh shit. <laughs> it's tension between these two. Why not? I've come this far, haven't I? Thank you. Ozu, this is Trent, the man I told you about. Ah, uh, Mr. Trent. Junko speaks highly of you. Please, sit. Thanks. Since Junko's departure to liberty, many things have changed here. The old ways are dying out as we become more of a melting pot of cultures. Do you understand? I, I do. The one thing that has not changed is the face of treachery. It is something that we have fought for many generations. Ozu is a lieutenant in the Blood Dragons, a counter-political group that opposes the Shogun. The reason the Blood Dragons have survived is because of our ability to adapt and change, to outmaneuver the stronger opponent. This would not be possible without carefully nurtured relationships, Mr. Trent. Which brings me to you. I am told that you and the Order seek a certain artifact. That's right. The Proteus Tome. It's fallen under the control of Governor Takagi. Yes, Takagi. He has been acting strangely, even for him, since his return from Rhineland. Our sources now say that there is a secret transport being loaded with these artifacts, bound from Takagi, back to the Chancellor. We believe the Proteus Tome is one of those on board. How much time do we have? Little. Particularly since Takagi himself may be on that transport. He's defecting? We believe so. With an offering to his new lord and master, the Chancellor. Our vendetta with Takagi is an old one. Unfortunately, we may have only this one last opportunity to repay him for his crimes. Mr. Trent, here is what I propose. You and the Order shall have what you desire if you help rid us of Takagi. Trent, Takagi is a traitor to his people. He deserves to die. Do us this service. Agreed. Excellent. We leave at once. Alright, let's go take out a fucking chancellor or whatever. Freelancer Omicron 1-8. This is Shinagawa. Everything's a go for launch. Good flying. Mr. Trent, we will take the trade lane from here to the Honshu Gate. Coordinates received. Trent, take point. My sources tell me that Takagi's transport is currently docked at the Yukawa shipyard in Honshu. It is heavily guarded. Apparently they are taking additional cargo on board. Is it the tome? That is very possible. Yukawa is a Kishiro base, and Takagi owns a large portion of that organization. Fucking Trent goes first. The game. Again. Good way to start it off. I like the, I like the campaign in this game though, it's fun. Now we're gonna haunt you. Are we going here? You guys are slow. We are not going through the jump gate, Mr. Trent. Blood Dragon fighters are awaiting us at a nearby jump hole. I'm uploading the coordinates. Why are we taking a jump hole? Takagi is a powerful man, Junko. He has spies everywhere. If we want to have a chance to capture the transport, we need to take them by surprise. What kind of fighter does he use? Dragon Krasari Heavy Fighter. Uh, he got. He has the one that was uh, in the uh, uh, that it saw that that capital ship. He got some shit weapons though. We have you in range. Standing by for orders. Enter formation and follow us to the jump hole. Entering formation. Set course for the jump hole. Only three ships? The Blood Dragons are small in numbers, Junko. But they are the best fighter pilots in the colonies. Yeah, I think I, we got this, trust me. I, I have a Valkyrie. There is the jump hole, Mr. Trent. Please go first. See, he, he, even he's on it, and on it. I think all the characters in this game think it's hilarious to tell me to go first. Tobias, 
This fucking Ozu guy, Juni, King. God. Report. The transport is still docking with Yukawa, Ozu Sensei, but it looked like they were about to leave. I counted multiple heavy weapon platforms and strong fighter protection. It won't be easy. We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. What's our plan? We have to hit them quickly and decisively. First, we target the weapon platforms, and then the fighter escorts. How do we get to the transport? We have a strike force positioned on Yukawa that will seize control of the transport. Once we've eliminated the fighters, our people will fly the transport out of there. Understood. The nebula will cover us most of the way, but the final approach will be in open space. We will have to fly as fast as possible before the scanners detect us. Right Every now? second will count. There is the shipyard. Is everybody ready? Dragon 1, ready to engage. Three. Dragon 2, ready. I'm ready, Ozu. Our first targets are the weapon platforms. All ships, engage. Alright, let's get this guy again. Actually, I, I have enough to basically just finish him off here. First platform is gone. One of their fighters is down. Engage the other fighters. Quickly, take out the other one. We're taking heavy fire from its turrets. The second platform is down. Also to strike team. Operation is a go. All ships, take out the escort fighters. Alright. This might go really badly. It looks like it's going badly because I, ca I can't do a lot of damage to them. Oh, never mind. Another escort fighter destroyed. Hold on. I have a report from the strike team. They got the Takagi's men off guard and have them pinned down. The volume in this game is very strange. No shields. No. Okay, whatever. Fucking hell, this guy's so maneuverable. What the hell kind of ship do you have? I sl I'll take three. No, I have a Valkyrie. Fuck you. I don't want your stupid ship. I'll Valkyrie everything. I got everything I ever wanted from this campaign. Let's see how. I, I wonder how long I can use this ship for. I think there's a part of the campaign where they, you're really highly recommended to change ships. Fuck. This guy is so fucking maneuverable. Nothing- here's the real problem is nothing I ever fire at him hits him. I'm about to fucking change targets. Look how many fucking people are still up on the screen. And it's because they all use their damn shield batteries all the fucking time. I basically have to just get lucky and get him at a good angle because I take down his shields, okay. I'm just not hitting him anymore. I, it's just, it misses all the fucking- Look at that fucking- Oh, shield's back up. Look at Torpedo's guy in the fucking crotch. Make me upset. Torpedo away! What?! <laughs> like, I, I got him with the torpedo. <laughs> this is how, this is what's come down to, guys. All right, now we're now we're doing torpedo runs on these guys. This is the only way, guys. This is how we. Okay, this is this is the new meta for freelancer. Torpedo the small stupid ships. Just waiting for my opening. God damn, this guy has like fucking tons of shields. You fucking cheater piece of shit. Get over here. Alright. My weapons are just not effective against their shields. I'm guessing that's the problem. Alright, alright. Torpedo. Oh, uh, that, that was not a good shot. Oh, there we go. We got the... We got that thing. Alright. Get this guy now. 
So, they can use countermeasure flares, I just realized, against torpedoes. However, however, if I'm close enough, it doesn't seem to work. Which means, my objective should be to generally just ram them. And torpedo them. Look at that, this, this guy's fucking shields, man. Alright. That, that would have been a good shot to, to use. Because what it does, it, it does actually appear to aim... Okay, and... Uh, almost had him. If they change direction at all, it, it's... Yeah, look at this guy, fucking shields back up, oh. Derp de derp. And <laughs> fucking maneuverable as shit. The grind on this campaign is real. God damn, I, I just... Look, he's just so fucking fast. Oh my god! I want his shit. Not really, actually. No, I, I changed my mind. I want that fucking piece of shit. But still. It's this... This difficulty curve is too much for me. I, I'm missing everything. This is also the other problem. Because he's just so maneuverable. I have complained about this earlier, but... I, I can't hit him. I just can't. This guy is... Fucking, like... <laughs> This guy is the best. Fuck yeah, I'm changing targets. I, I can't- he's too fucking good for me. Let's get this guy instead. Notice how the AI can't even fucking take him out. Oh, damn. Alright, we tried. This guy- this guy's okay, I can get this guy. They're so fucking manu- fucking your shields are back up already, oh, okay. Damn. This is just my strategy now. Uh, I would have had a good shot there if I had my torpedoes up. He gave me an opening there. Alright, I, I honestly, I do think in this campaign that the fucking, the fact that their shields come back up is a bit ridiculous. Like, just like all of them. And the thing is, they don't actually have the same amount of shield batteries I do. They have infinite of them. Like, it's gotten to the point where I'm fucking literally just, just like, okay, let's let's try and kill these guys with... Ah, oh, there we go. So that guy was, like, changing directions, and so... Uh, this is, I think, the same guy that was being really fucking evasive against me. Oh, what? That torpedo missed him. Damn. You could have gone down like a man. Instead, you went to, you're going down like a pussy. And my mines don't really latch on either. At least they're not using nanobots here. I, I just- I don't understand how they have so many shield batteries. Fucking hell. If this is the guy that's like really super fucking evasive. I mean, I got his hull down to half. You motherfucker, get over here. And... Damn it. And then it shows it could go back up. Oh my god, you evasive motherfucker! Look at this! Look at this fucking, like, engine trail! It's just like, it's like, oh, you can't hit me, you piece of shit. Oh my god. This campaign is painful for me. To all ships. Wow. The strike team has successfully taken over the transport. Disengage and protect the transport. Strike team. What is your status? We lost two of our men, Sensei, but it was worth it. The cargo pods are full of gold, diamonds, and thousands of artifacts. Excellent. Proceed into the nebula. Okay. Are you, are you good? Are you good? You're not good. I'm not fucking disengaging. Yeah, they're just going like like fucking snail's pace while I'm just getting shot in my ass shot. Yeah, I, I still see them on my, my thing here. Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna go fucking do this. Until I see them go like enough away. Yeah, 
Oh, okay, I got him, but fucking his shields or something didn't do a thing. Okay, let's, let's go meet up with the, the convoy. Yeah, okay, it looks like they're actually in cruise engines now. Or no, they're not. What are they doing? Yeah, they are in cruise engines. Okay. I don't want- I just don't want to fight those other fighters anymore. They fucking scare me. Scan this guy. Oh, no, no. Scanner. Ooh, ooh. There's no diamonds here, you fucking liars. Eating all the diamonds. And really shitty weapons, though. That's good projectile speed, though. Hopefully they're not as good as the other fucking guys. Seriously, that, those guys fucking spook me. Yeah, they, no, they are. They have perma shields. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking torpedoes. Whatever. We go put that back on. Torpedo! No! Oh, I didn't need to. The torpedo wasn't quite- well, actually, no, it did, it did fire. That's why I fired, like, fucking 13 of my fucking torpedoes. Wow, this went way differently than <laughs> another fucking fight. <laughs> I don't know what changed here, but... We are- we are tearing these guys a new asshole. What the fuck are you using? I want to know what your weapon is. You have those Wazaki things. Fuck, I gotta get those. You also glorious. Oh, this one guy, dude, dude. I, like, I wonder if like these these fighter pilots are just trolling us at this point. It's like, oh, I'm gonna die anyways. I'm gonna make it as annoying as possible so they remember me. Holy fuck! I really need those. I don't care. Next next place we go to, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm equipping a fuck ton of those. Oh shit, we're finally done. Alright, where's this transport? Oh, uh, not really with us. Oh, I, I should be following them actually, I think. Is this the speed we're gonna go at? The speed of snail? I'm in formation, guys. Just wondering why half the time he decides not to use his screws engines. Oh, there we go. Now he's going. My objective is to escort the transport still, so that's why I figured I should be doing that. Fucking transport. Well, we're actually- this is slow for cruise engines, what the fuck? I guess because we're we're limited by the, the armored transport speed, I'm, I'm assuming. It's still kind of interesting. Watch it be before a fucking Rhineland fucking fleet is there again. Where is this? Chu Goku. Oh, dude, I love Goku. He's my favorite. Over here. This is the jump hole to the Jugoku system. Mr. Trent, please go first. Yep, Ozzy's in on it now. Identify yourself, or you will be destroyed. This is Lieutenant Ozu. Stand down, patrol. We have captured Takaki's transport 
and are escorting it back to Kyoto as ordered. Yes, Sensei. We are almost there. Junko, Mr. Trent, follow me. I have the coordinates. Trent, you take the lead. Oh. Where are we going? To Kyoto. Kyoto? Trent, that's the legendary home of the Blood Dragons. I don't know anyone who's ever seen it. Ozu, you honor us. The honor is ours. It's Kyoto time. This is actually a pretty badass base, I have to say. I like this base. Here we will celebrate our victory over Takagi and Edo. Here you shall receive what you came for. I will see you shortly. Roger that. Your request to dock is granted. Proceed to dock two. They have fucking skulls for their fucking... Look at that. Oh shit. Dude, I want to live here forever. Lieutenant Ozu, this is amazing. How long have the Blood Dragons been here in this asteroid? Several generations. But with Takagi eliminated, the Edo Shogunate is weaker, and our victory is near. Pardon me, Lieutenant. Excuse me. Tell me, how long have you known Ozu? You mean, was he always a radical in the Blood Dragons? No. When I knew him, he was to be a promising political student at the Kusari Academy. What happened? People are changed by their world, Trent. Rarely vice versa. Ozu's living proof of that. Yeah. I'm afraid we have been deceived. This was the right shipment, but we have neither the artifacts nor Takagi. He was not on the transport, as we were led to believe. Something has changed. So what do we do now? I will make the necessary inquiries. For now, I suggest that you occupy yourselves with whatever diversions we can offer. Well, I can't just sit here. Maybe the Blood Dragons could use a little help. Joining the ranks of the radical left? I'm not on assignment anymore, Trent. I get to see how the other side lives. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to get out there for a while either. Maybe take some missions. From the sound of things, it may be a while. Don't worry. I'll let you know when we hear something. The radical left? Ah, oh, these fucking libertarians. Oh wait, no, that's not, that's right. Uh, they're, they're communists then. I don't know what the fuck they are. We're in the bar? Wow, this is the most boring bar ever. <laughs> Alright everyone, make sure you have, have an entire table to yourself and don't fucking talk. Don't even take a drink, just fucking whatever. Alright, let's see what commodities they have for sale here. Oh, well, I can sell scrap metal. They have, uh, lots of diamonds. New Berlin that sells these for a lot. Pittsburgh also likes these. Is that uh, engine components? Uh, not really interesting. Government research on jump holes, and I can get 50 of these. However, nobody wants these. Uh, there's oxygen. And there's scrap metal. And that would be it. Alright, interesting. Uh, I guess we'll repair our nice ship here. Maybe I should go get some of those, uh, Wazaki fucking weapons. Or no, I have... Oh shit! Fucking class 8. There's a katana, and a, and, uh, and... Gen Dito, whatever, fuck it, I'm gonna take it. Fuck these weapons. Get rid of these. Get rid of these. Maybe I should just get all class 7 weapons, because class 8 tends to... take up more of my time. Uh, let's see. Uh, I probably should get the best I can Mount. put on it. Because that, that's kind of been the theme so far. And let's see, what kind of turrets do they have? A katana turret. Okay. Uh, that would be way better than this one, I think. Yeah, it's, it's basically the same thing, except this one has more range and travels slightly slower. Actually, you know what? It puts it... Oh, actually, wait. Yeah, you know, there's no real difference. Well, that one fires kind of slower, though. I don't know. Fine, we'll just take the Katan turret. No. You guys win. I know you're yelling at your screens telling me. Alright, let's see. Should we get the, um... 
driller mine, I would say that's yes. That is an improved Gosh. mine. It's also a tadpole mine, whatever the fuck these things stand for. Alright, let's go sell that, sell that. I used a lot of fucking torpedoes, I'll tell you that much. Let's see, is there anything else interesting here? Uh, we got the warp cruise disruptor. Uh, we got some missile weapons here. Just to, it goes up to the Moonstalker and that's it. But as we've determined previously, uh, missile weapons kind of are poo. So uh, we have the same shield that we already have here, uh, which is kind of nice. But we won't be getting that at all. Let's fuck that noise. And we can get some shield betters, I guess. So at this point, I'm supposed to get. Uh, that's a lot of, that's, that's more than a million credits. I'm supposed to get a million five, uh, five hundred thousand. That's fucking ridiculous, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, uh, that's some weird fucking campaign progression, I'll tell you that much. So we have the Valkyrie right now. I uh, saw the ships they have for 41 million fucking credits. I can't even see the outside of this fucking ship, but it's a, it's a Manticore Dreadnought with fucking ten turret mounts. Uh, 450,000 armor and 600 cargo space. Holy shit. You know, I, I promise you by the end of the campaign I will fucking uh, fly some- what the fuck? Okay, so apparently I can be a, a slice of bread. <laughs> the U.S. A slice of bread. Fucking, I'm, I'm gonna fly this for the fucking rest of the game. Holy shit, I think I just- No one would want to fucking fight me because I'd die laughing. Yeah, but this is like, no. Oh, why would I get rid of my Valkyrie? Fuck that. Like, none of these are actually, like, any good, to be honest. <laughs> Fucking... The swashbuckler. Slice of bread. God damn it. It's a pirate ship. It's- it's- but, you know, just so you know, it's on the level of the Valkyrie. It's exactly on the level, actually, weirdly enough. And the Hawk can't even get a fucking torpedo, so fuck all that. This thing- this thing can't even get a torpedo. This thing is just like whatever. I like I just like the fact that I'm looking inside the ship all the time. Dude, I'm so getting a dreadnought by the end of the campaign, I'm fucking telling you that. Fuck you. Dreadnoughts, etc. Alright. Well I guess uh I guess we're good. I guess we can also go take a look at um uh the news. Takagi returns in triumph. This is the colony news service. Oh, okay. Oh, he, he, the governor returned with 150 Kasari citizens who had been held hostage in Rhineland. Oh. Interesting. Alright, I think there's nothing else here. It's all German shit. Alright, well, um, we'll do some missions here and whatever for next time, so take care everybody. Bye.